I'm going to show you how to set up an Active Directory domain on Windows Server 2025. So to start, I've got a clean install of Windows Server 2025, and I've logged in and opened up Server Manager. And then on the left-hand side, we can come to Local Server, and there are a couple of settings we need to change before we can install any roles and features. So the first thing we want to do is give our server a static IP address. So next to Ethernet, we can select IPv4 address assigned by DHCP, and this will open up our network connections. And then we can right click our network card and then go to properties, select IP version four, and then properties. And now we can give our server a static IP address. I'm going to give mine 10.0.0.1. And then for the subnet mask, I'm going to give mine a 24 bit subnet mask, which is 255.255.255.0. And then the gateway on my network is on 10.0.0.254. And then for the DNS server, what we'll temporarily do is give this a public DNS server. So in this case, we'll just give it Cloudflare. And then once we've promoted our domain controller, we can then come back and change this so it can look at itself and we can set up the proper DNS. So now we've done this, we can just press OK and then close. And now our server has got a static IP address. The next thing we want to do is select the computer name and then change. And then we'll give our server a custom computer name. So in this case, I'll just give mine DC01 and then press OK, leave it in the work group and then OK, and then close, and then we'll restart our server. Once the server's restarted, I've come back into our server manager, and then on the top right-hand side, we can press Manage, and then Add Roles and Features, and here is where we will install our domain controller services. So in the wizard, we can press Next, select Role-Based or Feature-Based Installation, and then Next, select the server that we want to install the services for, in this case it's DC01, and then press Next, and now we can select the services we want to install. I want Active Directory Domain Services, because this is going to be a domain controller. We also want to select DNS Server, because as well as hosting the domain services, we want it to host DNS. And then we can just press Next. Then we'll make sure Group Policy Management is selected. And that's all we need for the time being. And then we can do Next. And we'll just keep clicking Next through the wizard. Confirm it's got everything we want. And then press Install. Now our roles and features are finished installing, we can either select promote this server to a domain controller, or if you have closed the wizard, you can come up to the notification flag on the top right, and then select promote this server to a domain controller. This will bring up the Active Directory Domain Services configuration wizard, and here is where we can set up our domain. We've got a couple of options for the deployment operation. We can add a domain controller to an existing domain, add a new domain to an existing forest, or in our case, we want to create an entire new forest. So we'll select add a new forest, and then we'll give our domain a name. In my case, I'm going to call this ad.nannymoran.com. You can call yours whatever you want. So this is going to be the name of my Active Directory domain. We can then press next. We can then select our forest and domain functional levels. I'd recommend leaving this as Windows Server 2025. We can't change any of these options, but this is our first domain controller. And then for the directory services restore mode password, I'll just enter a password. I would recommend you make a note of this password, but if you ever need to restore your domain controller, you will need to use this password. However, you can change this at a later date. Once we've filled in these options, we can press next. We can't do anything with the DNS options just yet, so we'll just press next. It's automatically filled our NetBIOS name in. I'd recommend just leaving this as default, unless you do need to use NetBIOS for anything specific, then you can change this accordingly, but I'd recommend you just leave this as default. We can then press next. By default, the database log files and sysfile folder will be installed on the C drive. However, you can move these to other drives if you want. However, I'm going to leave this as default and leave them in the C windows directory. So then we'll press next. We can then review our settings that we've selected. If we're happy with this, we can then press next. The server will then do a prerequisite check just to make sure everything is okay before we actually start the installation. This has come back saying the prerequisite checks completed or prerequisite checks passed successfully. Click install to begin the installation. You will get a DNS delegation error. This is just because DNS has not been set up yet, so it will fail this check. Once we're happy, we can press install. Then it will automatically go through the process of setting up our domain controller with the settings we've specified. And then once it's done, it will restart the server a couple of times. I'll just leave this to install. And then once it's done, we'll come back at the logon screen. Now the server is booted up after the installation is finished. We can log in with our administrator account. So we'll use administrator and then the password reset. 
and then this will boot us into our domain controller. Now we're booting into the domain controller, there are a couple of things we need to do. So if we come to local server, under Ethernet, we can select our network card. Then we can right click our network card and then do properties, select IPv4 and then properties. And then we should see it's still got its static IP address. However, the DNS server has changed to 127.0.0.1, which is its local host address. Now we've just confirmed that has changed. We can come to tools and then DNS. So because we installed the DNS role, our domain controller is now also a DNS server. So we can select our domain controller. Then we can right click and then come to properties. And then under forwarders, we can just add any additional forwarders in. So any DNS requests this server gets, if it doesn't know what to do with it, it will forward it onto a public DNS server. So I'll just add another DNS server in here and then OK. So to test this, if I open up a command prompt, I'll do an NS lookup and just make sure it does resolve. So it's resolved this domain to its IP, so DNS is working. So then we can close our DNS manager. And then if we come to tools, we can open up Active Directory users and computers. And then we can see we've now got our Active Directory domain. And we can start creating our user accounts and adding more computers and more servers to our Active Directory domain. So that's how you can create an Active Directory domain on Windows Server 2025.